exercise is important for both bones and joints and the type of exercise depends on your fitness level, your preference, what you have available to you and so on, but everyone can do exercise. And the Canadian Physical Activity Guidelines suggest 150 minutes of activity in a week in bouts of 10 minutes or more. They also suggest two sessions of muscle strengthening in a week as well. Many perimenopausal and postmenopausal women are concerned about bone health. In that case, you might want to choose higher impact options like running, dancing, brisk walking. People that have joint issues might want to opt out of high impact exercise and try low impact options like cycling, aquafit and swimming. When choosing an activity, try to find something that you'll enjoy doing. So think about the kind of things that you're more likely to participate in. You might find that a gym membership is more suitable to you, or you might prefer to exercise independently. You might prefer to have a class or a sports activity or do something with a group of friends. If you're wondering where to begin, a community center would be a good place to start, or you might enjoy a women's only gym. For people who want to do things independently, there are a lot of apps that are available for free online, and also a lot of gadgets like uh, Fitbit or pedometers that you can try as well. Remember to start low, go slow, and stay active.